What's up, y'all? It's Jemai Tap, aka Scrappy, and it's the road to the dome. Welcome to the All-American Bowl's Road to the Dome. I'm Corey Robinson. Each year, the All-American Bowl celebrates the absolute best in high school football. From Joe Thomas to Devontae Smith and Jalen Ramsey to Christian McCaffrey, the Alamo Dome in San Antonio is where America is first introduced to the football stars of tomorrow. Where are you going to play your college football? We're hitting the road to visit communities all across the nation to honor this year's athletes who have been named to the 2022 All-American Bowl. We'll take an inside look at these athletes as they try on their All-American jerseys for the first time and hear from some of them as they tell us just how it feels to join the elite list of athletes who've come before them. We'll also check in with 24-7 Sports as they provide some insight on these top athletes. Now, let's meet this week's All-Americans. Wide receiver, Barry and Brown. Wide receiver, Kevin Coleman, Jr. Defensive lineman, Mario Eugenio. Defensive lineman, Aaron Graves. Offensive lineman, Ernest Green. Defensive back, Clint Stevens. Defensive lineman, Jamon Tapp. Linebacker, Junior Tui Halamaka. And defensive back, Larry Turner Gooden. Huffman, National Recruiting Editor for 24-7 Sports, and we'll take a look at the newest selection to the 2002 All-American Bowl in this week's Road to the Dome. One of the premier athletes in the country is Nashville Pearl Cone's Barry on Brown. The top five athlete in the country in 2022, Brown will play receiver in San Antonio. And it's at receiver that the 6'1", 173-pounder will be able to display his big playability and his speed. The 100-meter champion in Tennessee, that top end speed allows him to stretch the field, but he's not just explosive in the open field. He's got plenty of ability to get yards after contact. Alabama, Kentucky, TCU, and Ole Miss are in contention for Brown. Speaking of speed and explosion, St. Louis St. Mary's receiver Kevin Coleman Jr. possesses that in the speed. With quickness and twitch, Coleman can instantly create separation with the explosion necessary to dust the defensive back. His acceleration is immediate, and that allows his natural pass catching skill to make the big play when he's open. Coleman can get plenty of yards after contact, despite his smaller frame, because of his balance and his competitiveness. Florida State, USC, Alabama, Arizona State, and Oregon are all in the mix for him. One of the more productive pass rushers of the country is Clearwater Gaither Edge Mario Eugenio. The explosiveness that shows at the line of scrimmage is the key to Eugenio's game. He's got a quick first step and even quicker hands that allow him to disengage from his blocker and he uses his moves effectively off the bat. Eugenio plays with leverage and as he continues to add bulk in college, he will be a more difficult block at the next level. Cincinnati's in a good spot with the one-time Michigan commit. When you think Iowa, you tend to think of offensive linemen. And make no mistake, Gary Southeast Valley lineman Aaron Graves can play that at a high level. In fact, while he projects to either side of the ball, we think he ultimately will end up on the defensive side in college and anticipate he'll be an instant impact player with the Ready for College Now build. He's got violent hands, he plays with brute strength, but he loses an arsenal of moves to when he needs to. And watching him on the offensive line, you see high-level athleticism and high-level footwork. 
Grays will stay home and play at Iowa for Kirk Ferentz. Out of one of the premier programs in the country comes Bellflower St. John Bosco offensive lineman Ernest Green. From the alma mater of 2017 All-American Wyatt Davis, Green is the best lineman that the Braves have had since Davis. Able to play tackle, but likely to slide inside at the next level. He's got the athleticism to play tackle, but has the mean streak and the nastiness to be a menacing interior guard in college. Green excels in run blocking and getting to the second level, but also keeps his quarterback safe when he's playing tackle. He's focusing on Georgia, Ohio State, Texas, Alabama, and USC. Inglewood, California is known as the City of Champions, and it's fitting that the Cud Stevens comes from Inglewood. With the nickname of Champ, the 6'1", 190-pounder is a big physical defensive back who can play cornerback or safety in college. Stevens can be a boundary corner. With his football IQ and size, we think safety is where he'll ultimately end up. He has great range and can cover a lot of ground when closing well with his plus ball skills. Stevens is staying home in Los Angeles and playing at UCLA. Louisiana is home to Donaldsville Ascension Catholic Edge, Jamon Tapp. And Tapp shows tremendous strength and power when getting off the ball. He has a knack for disengaging quickly because of his strength, but he also has the ability to use various moves to get out of the block and into the backfield. Tapp's athleticism is distinct. He plays basketball and runs the 200 meter and 400 meter in track. He's headed west with his verbal to see Sarkeesian and Texas. A classically built middle linebacker, Mission Hills, California, Alan Manny's junior, Tulia Lamaca comes from the Golden State. He's physical and stuck in the run, can get to the quarterback in pass rushing situations, and he can cover backs downfield in pass coverage. He shows good athleticism and his ability to play in space, and he can move sideline to sideline in pursuit. The other thing that pops out about Tui Alamaka is his passion and his energy. He plays with his hair on fire and will come up and hit the ball carry quickly ending plays. He'll go from the Golden State to the Golden Dome with his commitment to Notre Dame. Tui Alamaka won't be the only Bishop Alamani product in San Antonio. So too will his teammate safety, Larry Turner Gooden. Turner Gooden started out on the offensive side of the ball in high school, but has now made his living in the secondary where he projects best. He can cover receivers, backs, and tight ends with his size and his speed and his coverage ability. But Turner Gooden also shows good short area quickness and the long speed to break up passes downfield. A one-time Arizona State commit, Colorado, Maryland, Penn State, and Texas are all making a push for Gooden. Well, that's it for this week. For 24-7 Sports, I'm Brandon Huffman, and we'll see you next week on the Road to the Dump. I want to start off by thanking God for every opportunity he blessed me with. Second, I want to thank my mom, my pops, and my family for supporting me throughout the journey. Third, I want to thank my brother, Rashad Lamar Bobby, for motivating me each and every day. Tony and January 8th to see me be just different. My name is Mario Pino, the president at Forget the High School, and I'll be putting on my All-American jersey. <laughs> Being an All-American means to me, it's been a lifelong dream. I always wanted to be an All-American since I was younger. I want to thank Coach Carson, Coach Taylor, Coach Street for pushing me to become the man I am today. I want to thank my family, my dad, my mom for helping me out to put me in the right path and pushing me throughout the whole way. And I want to thank my trainers, teachers, and teammates for just always pushing me and wanting the best for me. Hi, my name is Aaron Graves. I'm a defensive lineman from Southeast Valley High School. Possible. Thank my dad, my mom, Coach Reader, and all these guys around me, my teammates. I'd also like to thank the guys at Premier Athletic Training, especially Mike Greenbrook, 
Uh, all these guys have been uh, crucial in me getting to where I am today and uh, to be able to receive this great honor. I'm really happy to be able to represent uh, the state of Iowa, Southeast Valley, and the University of Iowa and all American Bowl. Thank you. I'm good. I'm crocheting. I see that. It started off as a hobby, kind of snowballed from there. And Alex, I don't want to stop. Well, I don't see why you should have to. Let's set you up with a side gig savings goal on the US Bank mobile app. This way you can turn it into your main hustle before you know it. You're my hero, Alex. What are you working on now? Pool cover. That's fun. Oh, I made my wife a bathing suit. Oh, did Linda like it? She did not. Oh. You should see what I made for Max. Max, look at him. He loves it. The confidence to make your dream a reality. US Bank, we'll get there together. American Bulls Road to the Dome is brought to you by U.S. Bank and Visit San Antonio. opportunities provided me with and I would like to thank my family and friends for always being there for me and supporting me and motivating me to be better and I would like to thank my teachers and my coaches for always pushing me to be the best person I can be on and off the field I can't wait to get out there and fulfill my childhood dream see y'all in San Antonio yes. my name is Clint Stevens and I go to Inglewood High School and I play defensive back Becoming an All-American was a dream come true, and I would like to thank my coaches and family for supporting me through this journey. It's Jay Montap, Class 2022 Defensive End, and I'm selected to be in the All-American Bowl. I appreciate this opportunity to be in the All-American Bowl. I'm thankful for everybody, my coaches, my parents, the community, everybody in my support. My name is Noah Fitch, Jr. Theo Omaka. I play as a linebacker at Bishop Alameda High School. The accomplishment of being an All-American means so much to me because I've always dreamed of being an All-American since my middle school years of playing football. First and foremost, I want to thank God. Uh, I wouldn't be who I am today without him. Uh, I want to thank Casey Carlson and the rest of the Bishop Allen and coaching staff. I want to thank all the mentors that helped me be the player I am today as well. I want to thank my family. I want to thank NBC Sports as well as All-American uh, for inviting me to be able to play in this uh, Game. Thank you. Hi, my name is Larry Turner Gooden, safety, Bishop Alamany High School. First off, I would like to thank God for giving me this opportunity. I would also like to thank the All-American Bowl for inviting me to play in this game. It's always been a dream since I was a kid. Thank you to my family and my coaches for giving me this opportunity, for helping me guide me this way. See you guys January 8th and make the next decision of my life. Hey guys, this is Gus Ramos with the All-American Bowl and this is our Gatorade Refilling Stop of the Week. 
Tonight, I am joined by defensive lineman Mario Eugenio out of the state of Florida. Mario, how's it feel to be an All-American? It was just, I was just in shock. It was been a dream for so long, and once I got the call from Mary Richards, it was just, I couldn't believe it. I was just full of excitement. You're from the state of Florida. You play high school football down there. What makes the football in the state of Florida different than anywhere across the country? It's more aggressive. It's more fast, physical, and tough. It's a different mindset in Florida. What's the mindset down there? It's you just got to get after it. You've had double-digit sacks every year you've been in high school. What is it about you chasing down the quarterback? Well, I feel like I see ball, I get ball. So I'm quick, fast off the ball, explosive, and that really helps my game to get to the quarterback and get after it. So what's been the biggest accomplishment of your high school career so far? Um, I feel like my biggest accomplishment was being named All-State twice in two years in a row. And – it's just been just an extreme blessing. What's been your favorite memory of your entire football career? Um, it had to be, I think it was my sophomore year. And we were playing this team in Armwood. It was fourth and goal, two yards to fourth and goal and two yards for a touchdown. And I made the last play. And it was just an incredible, incredible moment. When you head down in January, you'll be playing against guys from all across the country. Is there anybody specifically you're looking forward to going up against? Um, I'm excited to play against the best O-linemen. That's just my goal to show, show out. Very cool. So you have offers from all across the country, and you've narrowed it down to a few. When are you going to make your big decision? Um, I will be making my big decision Saturday at 11 a.m. Can you give us any hints on to where – what part of the country are you going to be going? I can't say. So Saturday at 11 a.m., everyone will know we're off to school. Yes, sir. There you go. Well, Mario, once again, congratulations on being selected for the 2022 All-American Bowl. I'll see you down in San Antonio. Yes, sir. I'll see you down there, too. What's going on, y'all? My name is Sierra Wright. I currently play cornerback at USC. I'm a 2021 All-American Bowl alumni. I just want to say congratulations to all of you guys for making it to this point. You've got a lot of great things ahead of you, so just enjoy the moment and keep working hard. Once again, congratulations and welcome to each of our All-Americans. Be sure to follow us on the road to the Dome as we continue to meet this year's athletes every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on the NBC Sports YouTube channel. Don't miss this year's All-American Dream Preview Special, where we'll share the stories of some of this year's athletes, both on and off the field, airing Sunday, January 2nd on NBC. And, of course, you can catch all these athletes in action at the 2022 All-American Bowl from San Antonio, Texas, on Saturday, January 8th, live on NBC and Peacock. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.